how can we make sure that we are being exceptional in any area of our life? You're talking about having it in multiple areas, which is like the golden dream. How can we actually do this? Yeah, I, I like what you said about thinking bigger. So in your business, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper and start brainstorming what would have your business really take off. So alliances is a, is a great area. I built my business partially based on alliances. And when I met Jack Canfield, who was the co-founder of Chicken Soup for the Soul, among many other things, I was nervous. You know, everyone's trying to get some time with Jack and he was speaking at an event and I just waited until he was done and he was walking away and I got in tow and just said, Hey, I'm impressed by your success and your books make me cry. And we started chatting. And as we're talking, I said, you know, my email list isn't that big at the time it was about 40,000. He said, well, that's about half of mine. He said, we should do business together. Wow. Okay. That was exciting. But what it took was the walking up. Mm -hmm. That's what it took. It was the walking up. And then we did do some cross promotion and talk about visibility. Amazing. Um, Bill Harris from Holosync and Bill's since passed away, but Holosync was a huge thing with CDs, with binaural beats and, and like that. And he reached out and said, I see you're doing business with Jack. We also do business with Jack. Maybe we should talk. And then when I did my book launch, Holosync very generously agreed to send an email to their 750,000 person database. Nice. Right. So there's some visibility, but it, it was that, oh, let me, shall I walk up? Shall I not walk up? It's so mm -hmm. scary. Um, I wonder what the other door, if David had not taken that moment to go, I'm just going to do it anyway. Even if I look like I'm stupid, if you'd done, if you'd sat there, what would your life look like now? Can you even begin to imagine? Right. I just think it'd be a smaller version. Mm -hmm. And we can always look back like the time when, you know, I walked up to that woman in a bar and asked her out, you know, or, or a dance. If I didn't have the courage to go up there and just dance with her and see what happened, we wouldn't have had a two and a half year relationship. Mm -hmm. Right. I love your question about like, what's that, the path, the road not traveled. Right. One well, of my favorite films is the Sliding Doors film, sliding doors. Gwyneth Paltrow from years ago. And I always come back to this one. It's kind of off tangent, but that night, because it's all about she gets pickpocketed as she's getting on the tube, I think she's getting on. As I came out of the cinema in Manchester City Centre, I was pickpocketed that night. And I always feel like, have I just watched that film? And have I now created this scenario where another Anna is doing completely different it's things? It's destiny. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sli love sliding doors. So I don't want listeners, I don't want anyone to be thinking, oh, if only, mm -hmm. if only I'd done that, if only I'd gone for that. So let's start with a list. You start looking at alliances. Who would you love to be promoting your product or service or talking about your product or service or having as a client so that they might, maybe they'll do a testimonial for you. Maybe they'll love you your what you provide so much that they'll give you an endorsement mm -hmm. um i've got uh one person who's a dear friend now who sent an email for me three or four months ago saying if you can get on david's calendar if you want to double your business and you can get on his calendar you should take advantage of this i had 63 people book a session with me from that one email. So alliances are so powerful, but often we're too timid.